Now, when we do a heel elevated squat, this plate is probably almost two inches thick, and that's probably a little bit higher than I would normally use, but I'm just using it to contrast the black floor. So grab your weight and just your heels up. You still wanna feel balanced in your body between your heels and toes with your weight. You don't wanna be tipping forward onto your toes just because your heels are elevated. So grabbing the weight, find your balance point, balance center of mass, and just squatting through, getting as much range. So two range goals would be the first one, getting your hamstrings to cover your calves, and that second one, getting your cheeks to sneaks. So really getting those bum down to your runners is a really good range goal, making sure that that core stays engaged. And I like to even maintain that torso to be pretty upright, making sure that I've got control and stability through the weight so that as soon as I press out with the legs, the weight starts to move up with me. There's no lag between when I actually go to stand up and when the weight starts to move. So ideally it would be straight up. I'm not controlling down. And then there's this, I got to push and the weight stays down and my hips start to rock back. We want to have that midfoot pressure. So balancing the feet and press straight up. So we're really pushing the world away straight up through this implement that we're holding. Control, tempo, tension, depth, 